Okay, so I'm going to ask you an out of the blue question. Mm -hmm. So um, there is no right or wrong to this question. I just want to um, understand where your mindset is at as of now. So how would you determine um, the weight of going seven foot seven? Okay. Mm -hmm. I am an events planner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have never been in because I, I, I gather mm -hmm. you might uh, be tasked with uh, a project of or probably uh, planning an event that will include some of this information. So you need to have a widespread knowledge of uh, some of these um, unexpected, you know, um, things. Mm -hmm. So just basically, there's no right or wrong. I just want to understand the way your mindset is at. Okay. Yes. The first thing I will do mm -hmm. to determine the weight of a Boeing 747 mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm. is to look at the content of the plane. Okay. Is it carrying passengers? Okay. How many are they? Okay. What is the, the average weight? Okay. And then I would multiply it by the number of people. Okay. Then maybe I would look at the amount of luggage okay. carried, mm -hmm. I would probably consider the upper limit mm -hmm. allowed mm -hmm. and find out how many passengers brought luggage with them, mm -hmm. then multiply that as well, mm -hmm. find that figure mm -hmm. and add it to the previous one. Mm -hmm. And finally, mm -hmm. I would look at the weight of the plane without Mm -hmm. clients or customers in it mm -hmm. probably from an official source mm -hmm. maybe a company website mm -hmm. because technology is our friend mm -hmm. I would google mm -hmm. that information I find out how much a Boeing 747 weighs when empty mm -hmm. and then I would add that mm -hmm. to the other two figures mm -hmm. of the passengers as well as their baggage mm -hmm. and that in itself would give me a rough estimate. Okay. All right. Is there anything you want to know from me or the organization? Absolutely. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your work culture mm -hmm. in this company. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could do it mm -hmm. by illustrating mm -hmm. what your typical day looks like mm -hmm. as a HR manager. Okay. That is a great question, Dr. So, my work culture as um, the HR of this organization involves a lot of things, one of them being um, conducting interviews for people like yourself. But I would like to talk about my highlight of every day, which is basically interacting with the staff of this organization. So, um, personally, I don't like giving people jobs based on their strengths. I like giving people uh, jobs are normally based on their weaknesses because I like to push people out of their comfort zones. So um, again, I will pose a question to you. What do you think is your weakness? My biggest weakness is my perfectionist tendencies. Mm -hmm. I tend to focus on something over and over again until I get it right. Okay. That becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. when you don't have time. Mm -hmm. In the events industry, mm -hmm. it can occur in yes. a lot of times. Okay, so Dorcas, um, I'd like to thank you for your time for availing yourself for this interview um, and also for your CV because we get to learn a lot uh, about you and uh, from your aspirations, from your work ethics and everything around that. Um, I will give you a call in the course of this week. You can have a cup of tea on your way out. Thank you very much. It was You're such welcome. a pleasure. Thank you as well. Have a good day. Thank you too.